Hi everyone, welcome back for more. Let's play Shadowrun. We're on a boat. Not quite like being on a horse, but we are on a boat. And we have come here to find the Jester Spirit. Now that we know his real name. And just about every door here is going to be rusted shut. There's only one that isn't. And the one we can actually open will be at the end of this long hallway. But first we gotta get down there. And yeah, there will be enemies everywhere. Most of them well armed. Enemies in here are a step up again. Not qu I think they might be at the level of the ones in the Dark Blade Club. Some of these are going to be more annoying because they toss firebombs at us. But mostly. They should be right about that same level. And as nice as it is that we are the, you know, we are followers of the dog spirit, we've got to kill that doggy. Because if we get close, that doggy is able to rip us in half pretty easily. So we got to get rid of it. And it leaves behind. Whoops! Actually, want to show that off. He's behind dog tags. This is an ID tag for a dog. Okay. So, let's see. The door is locked. It's not rusted shut, it's locked. Well, we don't have a key, but we do have something we picked up a while back, this crowbar. We can use the crowbar to open up that door and get inside the ship and start working our way down. And yeah, these are pools of, you know, toxic sludge that we can actually shoot. Keep an eye out for those little switches. Those little bumps are switches. And we will need to activate those as we continue on. The inside of this ship is somewhat confusing to navigate. But with the, if you walk around a little bit, it's not hard to figure out where to go. It just takes some practice. And there will be enemies all over the staircase. And most of them will actually take quite a bit of damage. Yeah, get used to this, folks. At least until we can afford and get a hold of a really good gun. It'll take a little while. The shotgun is nice and all, it just can't quite compare to the late game guns. Come on, die. There it is. Grab the Nuyen and grab a safe key. Exactly what we need to open a safe. And use it. Got the detonator, and there's a broken bottle in there. Now the detonator and those explosives we picked up not too long ago become a time bomb that is now ready to use. And the broken bottle, toxic dissolver, but it's broken. Unfortunately, we can't. We don't have a full bottle of it. It'd be nice if we did, but we do not. I see the ship I remember really well. 
I spent a lot of time on this ship when I played the game forever ago. I never remember most of it. Just a heavy dude, huh? There we go. Nice and healed. And now we go the other way over here. Which gives us a bunch of more branching paths. So we'll go this way first. To save some time. Okay, this thing is nasty. Usually does more damage to me than this. And toxic water. Well, remember how we had to have fresh water? Well, we need toxic water to go along with it. Okay, where are potion bottles? Here we go. We need to grab that with the potion bottles. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I need to go this way. Nope. Okay. I was right. Just making sure of something there. Now we need to head away down another flight of stairs here. To get to another safe. There are times when I wish Jake walked faster. Well, there it is. There's my Nubian. Go this way. And that is a death trap. Just thought you would like to see that. You literally cannot kill those orcs. But remember how I said to keep an eye out for these switches? We have just sealed them in that room down there. We close the airlock door. Now on the flight of stairs above here. This is how you deal with that room. Because literally you cannot kill them. Unless you do that. That's right, they made those... That, those four orcs, or whatever you want to call them there. They made them invincible. Not exactly a nice move on their parts, but you know. They wanted you to think a little bit in this section. And now they're dead. It's locked, so we'll try the key. Only strangely enough, this safe key only works on one safe. It will not fit. So, what we need to do now... is grab the time bomb... and run away. And if you're standing there, you will take damage. Of course you will. And the only thing in there is the green bottle. Let's take a look at this green bottle, shall we? Toxic Dissolver. Now, why do we need this? Well, you've seen the pools of toxic sludge that are floating around here. The red ones we can deal with normally. Red ones we can shoot. But upcoming, there are some we cannot shoot. They're putting a lot of enemies around here. I 
they really are trying to stop me. But now I need to go back this way and take the path I haven't taken yet. Mm, well, we can go either way. And now that we got that thing next to us, green bottle, green bottle, use. Oh, I guess we can just shoot that one. Now why can't I just shoot it? You're not using it on that? To accidentally click me? Because that's what you're supposed to use it on. No. Okay. Fine. We'll go the other way. Or we'll just run out the door and ignore that one completely. Come on. Thank you for dying. Yep. One big loop. That's all there is to it. Yep, this gang member poses no threat once you realize you can shoot him from around the corner and he's stuck there. My money. Give me my money. Come on. There it is. And another switch. Okay, now this is where we can use the green bottle. See, you wouldn't let me use it on the other one. I don't know why, though. have two uses? I hope not. Okay, there we go. And there are two other switches there. I can't recall if they do anything or not. I don't think they do. But here are some landmines. We are going to have to explode to get by. Since I have no other way to get through. And now we are at a portal. So let's step through. Now we have a Naga. Who actually is a very, very strong opponent, but for some reason just never quite lives up to its potential because it doesn't really attack you much. It doesn't do nearly enough damage to actually kill you. Simply because it doesn't actually try. But still good form to heal up afterward. Dang it. Quit running away. <sighs> I think I can go a little bit further. I think I've got one or two more floors. Yep, bubbles. Gotta shoot the bubbles till they stop spitting at you. Or else you'll take a lot of damage trying to walk by them. And those little ones, however, will spit at you no matter what. Okay. Actually, I want to just... Yeah, this is a good stopping point. When we come back, we face the Jester Spirit. But until then, 
Take care, folks. See you later.